Well, it's like Christmas here. Yeah? I've sent off for one of my favorite, but hard to come by, um, daffodils, narcissi. Uh, this is um, Cyclamanius um, there. And you can see, let's get the label. You can see why they call it that because the, um, the outer ring of petals kind of fold back like a cyclamen flower. And then you get this kind of long, narrow cylinder of a trumpet um, down through the center of the flower. And, uh, you know, I buy and sell um, bulbs as part of my my role in um, in some garden centres, but I've never been able to find um, Cyclamanius uh, daffodils or Narcissi. I've seen them in gardens, but never been able to buy any. Um, it's quite a rare, quite a rare bulb from which I'm guessing quite a few of our popular um, dwarf daffodils. Thing I'm guessing varieties like Tate and uh, Jetfire. Uh, very popular, mass-produced, um, compact daffodils, beautiful in their own right, but don't have this almost kind of weird um, tube-like um, flower that you get with Cyclamanius narcissus. So, in the end, I had to go online, which is almost kind of <laughs> against my religion, um, and started to search for people who were doing it, um, bulbs um, of this particular narcissus. Uh, here in the UK and I found um, a company I need to point out I'm not being paid I've uh, for this I'm I've bought these out my own my own pocket at great expense to the management because I wanted them but I went to uh, a website called uh, 12 nuns there they are and uh, they seemed to be about the um, about the <laughs> about the cheapest shows that my mind works um, but also they had a very good reputation so I'm just going to show you uh, how how they've been delivered, and I think they've been delivered really well. So there's one that we unpacked earlier, uh, but um, let's just open this up. So I've ordered um, four bulbs. The bulbs actually come growing, um, complete with some roots and even a shoot there, um, in um, in pots rather than just loose loose bulbs. And you can see they've been well wrapped. And let's see if we can, there we go. Look at that. So what a, a really good way of um, protecting the, the soil and the, and, the, and the bulbs and the roots, the parts of the plant that are in there by putting that little bit of um, hessian sack over there. So there they all are. Here's the, um, here's the fourth one. And I've just scraped away some of the, um, the compost there so we can see um, there's a nice little clump of bulbs there with plenty of shoots coming up. They reckon that these will flower within the first year of um, of buying. So it's a fairly mature um, bulb. So all I've got to do now is work out where I'm going to plant these here bulbs. And uh, I'll probably see if I can get like a terracotta bowl or something like that for the first year and plant them up into a, a nice bowl and uh, let them kind of grow a bit more for a season. And then we'll have to see if we can find some space in the garden. So there we go. Exciting times. I'll show you what these flowers look like um, in the spring. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to look lovingly at my pots of compost with little bulb shoots coming in. Thank you very much. If you've got any, if you've got any questions about growing daffodils or, or other bulbs, or indeed if you'd grown some, um, some rare bulbs like um, these Cyclamanius um, daffodils, do let us know via the comment section here on YouTube. Thanks very much. Bye.